when you had addition, what was the opposite to addition? Subtractions. When you have subtractions, what was the opposite to subtractions? When you have multiplication, when you take a wild guess, what's the opposite to multiplications? Division, when you have division, what's the opposite to division? Multiplication. So let's try that. We have 5x equals 30. 5x equals 30. Solve it. Solve for x. We need, when you solve it, you want to solve for 1x, not 5 of them. Notice that's 5 times x. The opposite to multiplication is what? Division. You want that number to be 1. So the only way to make that number 1 is not dividing by 30, it's dividing by 5. What's 5 over 5? 1. 1, right? So if you divide this side by 5, you better divide that side by 5. And the 5's will cancel each other out here. So x equals what? 30 divided by 5, which is 6. Now the mistake people always think, it's always the bigger number divided by the smaller, and that's not the case. If I said 20x equals 14, solve for x. You want to make that 1x. So do we divide that by 14 or by 20? You sure? We want to make that 1x. If I put divided by 4, I write 14 here, would that make it 1? No. So it has to be then what? 20. And if I divide this side by 20, I got to divide this side also by 20. Yep. In this case, they don't just end there. It says x equals what? 14 over 20. But wait a minute. We learned from chapter 2 that we can simplify this. How do you simplify it? Divide both by 2. That's 7 over what? 10. Probably. Yep. Well, they'll tell you. Write the answer, like decimal value, fraction, improper fraction. They'll let you know how they want it. Yeah, they're not shy about telling you how they want the answer. They're always going to say, we want it this way, we want it that way. So when you have multiplication, we divide. Now let's try this one. Five equals y over 2. Five equals y over two. What do we have here? We need to get rid of that two here. Notice that two is in the bottom. So you'll have to multiply this side by what? By two, both of them by two. And what will happen to this two and the other two? Cancel, you know why they cancel? Anyone knows why they cancel? Because if you write the 2, that's 2 over what? 1. Remember how we multiply fractions? You simplify them first if you can. By 2, they cancel each other out. So you end up with y times 1, which is what? y over 1 times 1, which is 1. What's y over 1? y. So that's why the 2's will cancel each other out. 2 times 5? 10. Let's try a few more. Six 
6x equals 30. Do we have multiplication or division? Right now. Now, what do we have right now? So to solve it, what do we do? Divide by, very good, by 6. You want to make that number 1, always. It's always 1x you're solving for. x equals what? 5. One equals A over six. Solve it for A. By, by six, right? Whatever on the bottom, you know, multiply by. Cancel each other out. A equals 6 times 1. 6. If you multiply it by 1, you still have the 6 in the bottom. They don't cancel. Now let's make them a little bit uglier. The idea is still going to be the same. When I say uglier, let's put decimal values. Let's put fractions in them. Point two n equals four. Again, what do we have there? We have multiplication, so you need to solve it for n. To solve for n, we're going to divide both sides by what? Point two. Good answer. n equal to 4 over 0 0.2. But you can't leave it like this. We have to go and divide it. 4 divided by 0 0.2. This has to be what we said last time? Whole number, right? Is it a whole number yet? How do we make it a whole number? Move the decimal one place. There's a decimal point. Move it one place here. It becomes what? 40 is my decimal point if I need it, divided by 2. That's 20. N equals 20. You get 40 bucks divided between two people. 20 bucks a piece. M over 0 0.5 equals 1.3. What do we have here? Division, so how do you get rid of it? Multiply by what, 1.3 or 0 0.5? 0 0.5. These two will cancel each other out. And let's go to the side, multiply them out. Five times three. Five carry one. Five times one is five and one is six. How many digits do we have here? One, how many here? One, when you add them, that's what? Two, move the decimal point two places. One, two. So M equals 0 0.65. Now, if I have a calculator with me, and I say, what is 0 0.65 divided by 0 0.5? I bet you the answer is 1.3. One more twist.
How about that one? Now think about that one. Think about what you have there. What do you see there? Multiplication, Multiplication right? Can you make it x over 1? You can if you want to. But if you think about this, that says 3 fourth times x, right? When you have multiplication, what's the opposite to multiplications? So x is going to be what? 12 divided by 3 fourths. Because you have to divide both sides by 3 over 4 to make it a 1. So to make that x 1x, we need to divide both sides by 3 over 4. Now here's the fun. How do you divide 12 by 3 over 4? Well, even without the decimal, let's look at it. What does it say to us? It says 12 divided by what? 3 over 4, right? Okay, make that 12 over 1. Change the division to what? Multiplication to flip that one to what? 4 over 3. Can I simplify that first? By 3, this is 1. By 3, this is what? 4. What is 4 times 4? 16 over 1, which is what? 16. If you missed it, we'll try another one. Let me try another one. 2 thirds n equals 6. Again, you want to make it 1 n, not 2 thirds. So what are we going to do? We're going to divide. That's a multiplication. We're going to divide both sides by what? 2 thirds. When you do that, this cancels that. I'm in good shape. N equals 6 divided by 2 thirds. Again, I just finished saying this says to us it's 6 divided by 2 thirds. And to do division, we keep the first number alone, 6 or 6 over 1, we want to make it a fraction, that's fine. Change the division to what? Multiplication and flip the second number. When you flip it, that becomes what? 3 over 2. By 2, this is what? 1. By 2, this is 3 times 3. Over 1, 9. So n equals 9 for that one. I'll give you an example where we use that. For people who like baseball, we'll use baseball. Here we go. There is home plate here. First base. Second base. Third base. If somebody hits a home run, for those people not familiar with it, you're going to run from first to second. I mean, to, uh, from home to first, that's home, first, second, third, back to home. You go from home to first, to second, second to third, 
and third back to home. These dimensions are equal in length, the distance between them exactly the same, every single one. If you hit a home run and you run all the way around, you traveled 360 feet. That's a given fact. For adult baseball. If you walk this, 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 and this, or run it, I mean, what is that equal to? In terms of X's? Four X's. So that tells me that four X equals 360 feet. Can you solve that for X? What do you do? Divide by, four. Divide by four to make it a one. And guess what the distance is. 90 feet. A professional baseball diamond, 90, 90, 90, 90. So when you watch somebody, uh, Mr. Cruz yesterday had a two run homer. He ran 360 feet. Now, if you go on the outside and come back, touch it, and you go crazy like this and come back, touch it, it's different. We're swimming straight line. A lot of people, because they're running so fast, they don't go straight tip, and they go shh and turn this way. But we pretend running straight line. Another example away from baseball. The Pentagon, have you ever been to it? Why are they call the Pentagon? Five sides, yep. It's supposed to be equal sides. Equal sides, five equal sides. We'll call them X, 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 and X. If you start from one point and walk around the Pentagon there, you walked approximately 1.6 miles. It's huge. My son works in Washington, D.C., so I go there all the time. It doesn't look that big when you look at it from the plane, but when you get next to it, it's not small. So if you take this side plus this, plus this, plus this, plus that, that's equal to what? 5x equals approximately 1.6 miles. So to find the length of each side, to solve for x, we need to divide by what? By 5. And x will be what? Let's divide that and see. What is 1.6 divided by 5? Bring that decimal point here. Remember, there's a lot of zeros if you need them here. Stack of them. Can we divide 1 by 5? No. Can we divide 16 by 5? 3. 3 times 5? 15. 10 by 5? 2. 2 times 5? It's 0 0.32 miles. That doesn't seem big there, but if you're on the highway today, look at your trip here, the meter there, and because it goes 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Just look at a spot, especially if it's a long strip, when it says zero. And when it hits roughly a little bit after 0 0.3, look behind you and see how far you traveled. You'll see how big that building is. It is massive. These are some of the examples, just trying to think.